means gathering around the table with loved ones, and that includes your furry friends. Action News Now reporter Tori Apodaca joins us live from a dog park. So, Tori, is it safe to sneak your pet some table scraps underneath? Yes, just in moderation though, Esteban. I have my little friend Ricky here who loves to feast on sweet potatoes and turkey. But I did speak with a local vet today that said it is okay to let your little ones splurge a little this holiday, but you need to do so safely. He tells me that every the Friday after Thanksgiving, most cases included GI issues or pancreatitis. This is because dogs can't handle high fat foods. So you might want to ditch the butter, gravy, mashed potatoes, or anything with heavy grease. Vets tell me it's best to stick to bland food and to steer clear of bones. The more fatty the meat is, the more likelihood that they can develop something like pancreatitis. You know, pancreatitis is just inflammation of the pancreas. What ends up happening is the pancreas works a little extra hard. It will release digestive enzymes, and what they'll end up doing is causing irritation, vomiting, um, clinical signs that we typically don't want to see. We're usually pretty careful about not giving her scraps straight from the table, so she doesn't start begging, but she'll definitely get some turkey leftovers in her bowl for dinner. Vets say they usually see more dogs than cats this time of year. Dr. Harry Sakan from the Oroville Animal Health Center says cats usually are more introverted when guests are over. And some other foods that pets are able to eat are pumpkin, sweet potato, and also green beans. But do be reminded to ditch all of those sugary and high fat foods to make sure that your pet's tummy stays happy. For now, live in Chico, Tori Alfadaka, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thank you, Tori and Ricky. We appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And Dr. Harry adds that every patient is unique when they get an upset stomach. He says that they will do a full review of their medical history, conduct a physical exam, and then determine whether to give some medicine or in most severe cases, pump their stomachs.